What if Goku escaped to Beerus's world after Planet Namek? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 1? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Today's discussion is my Z fans, what if Goku arrived on Beerus' world right after Planet Namek? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z and more importantly, how would this impact Goku's life? Now inside this what if, we're gonna start a new series about what if Goku, instead of going to Planet Yadrid, he went to some space storm and therefore his space pod has crash landed on Beerus' world. After meeting Beerus this early or even Whis, how will this impact Dragon Ball Z because Beerus will be sleeping but Whis will be awake. Would he go and train Goku and will Goku achieve God Ki? Or would Whis go and tell Goku to leave? There could be many speculations and many stories on what could have happened if Goku landed on Beerus' world after Planet Namek because he had achieved Super Saiyan power for the first time and therefore when he goes and he meets someone like Whis, an angel, how would that help Goku throughout the entire Dragon Ball Z story? Would it be a good thing for Goku if he has achieved God Key and went beyond God Key, Or would it be bad for him and that is too early for him to have this power? You will find out exactly what would have happened inside this series. After the discussion, I'd like for you guys to share me your thoughts on this and what do you guys think about this discussion. So my Z fans, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this what if journey together and end this series together. What if? Goku escaped to Beerus' world after Planet Namek Part 1. Seconds before Namek is about to explode, Goku found the Ginyu Force's space pod and he jumped inside there and he just clicked go as he had no idea what was happening and the space pod has left Planet Namek and from there Namek has exploded. Due to the high pressure of the explosion, it knocked Goku's space pod far out in the space as he's fainted inside his space pod and then from there it entered a space storm where Goku went inside a black hole and once he came out he ended up landing inside a sacred world known as Beerus's world. Goku has landed on a planet which no mortal has ever seen. Inside that planet, Whis was sitting down and he was relaxing and out of nowhere he heard a very loud explosion and said hmm. What is that? Let's go check it out. Goku's space pod has crashed through some trees and then from there Goku fell off from his space pod and he landed 10 meters to the ground. Once when he landed, Goku was unconscious as the crash put a huge toll on his body. And from there Whis came right next to him and said, Hmm, so this loud explosion came from him. As he picked Goku up, and he took him inside to nurse him. Goku was in the bed while Whis took his staff and he saw everything about Goku. How he came from Planet Namek to Beerus' world and that he went and killed Frieza. Whis was very surprised to know about Goku and that his name is Kakarot. Oh, I see. So this young man name is Kakarot, but he goes by the name Goku. And he be Frieza. The Oracle Fish came right next to Whis and said, Lord Whis, he is the man that I prophesied about that would fight Lord Beerus in about 12 years from now. Oh, I see. Well then, Lord Beerus is sleeping right now. Hmm, 12 years you said, huh? But since he's here, I have an idea. Whis then went towards Goku and he used his staff on him as Goku got healed and he was 100% healthy. Goku woke up and he said, Oh, whoa. Where am I? And what is this place? As he saw Whis and he said, Who are you? And are you the one that healed me? Hmm, yes, I'm the one that healed you, Goku. Huh? How do you know my name? I know a lot about you, Goku. 
I even know your name is Kakarot and that you defeated Frieza. Whoa! Are you some guardian angel or something? <laughs> well, Goku, I see that the spaceship you came in is pretty banked up and is really damaged. That means it won't be working for a very long time. And no one can repair this, so I guess you're stuck here for a while. Darn it! But hey, I feel so better now. It's amazing! As Goku went, and he transformed into his Super Saiyan. We saw Goku at his Super Saiyan and he smiled as Goku looked at him and said, If you don't mind, you want to spar with me? Hmm, why not? As Goku went and he charged at Whis, but he couldn't land a single hit on him. Goku was impressed as he went and he punched Whis very hard with everything he's got, but it didn't faze him. Whis then went and lifted his hand high up in the air and he lightly touched Goku right in the shoulders and then from there Goku fell straight to the ground and he fainted. Oh my, I guess I used a bit too much power. Goku got up as Whis healed him and he said, Oh my god, you're so strong. I can't believe it. Please, can you train me? I would love to make you my master and learn under you. Please, can you train me? You did say I'm stuck here for a while, right? So why don't we use that time to train with one another? Hmm, I understand Goku, and yes, I'll train you, but you need to understand, it will be very intense training, so intense that it could even kill you. Are you ready for this? <sighs> of course I am, I'm a Saiyan, I'm ready to die in a battle anytime. Very well, then we'll begin our intense training now. Whis gave Goku a new pair of gi as it had a symbol on it and then from there Goku's training begun. Three months has passed as Goku trained every day with Whis and his power got a lot stronger. While he was training with Whis, Goku's friend tried to wish him back with Purunga to be alive and that Purunga asked Goku that they want him to come to planet Earth. Goku told Purunga to tell him that he's not ready yet and that he'll come back once he's ready. During their training, Goku did a lot of chores for Whis as he saw who Lord Beerus is and he was very intrigued in meeting Beerus but he saw that Beerus was sleeping and that Whis told him to never go near Beerus because if Beerus wakes up it'll be the end for Goku. What do you mean Whis? Hmm, let me explain to you Goku. You know we're living in a universe called Universe 7 and that all the universe has two gods living with them trying to protect them. One is known as the Supreme Kai and the other one is known as a Destroyer. What you see now is a Destroyer. His name is Beerus and I am an Angel. I work for Beerus until he died and I get appointed to be the next Angel for the next Destroyer. Goku couldn't comprehend what he heard and then from there Whis told Goku that he could make Goku achieve something called the God Key which is far stronger than any other key that Goku has ever possessed and that he will help Goku bring it out as Goku was very thrilled and said oh my god <laughs> that's amazing god key wow all right Whis I'm ready to do whatever I can to attain this god key very well Goku Goku and Whis trained more and during his training Whis has called the Supreme Kai over as Goku has now officially met with Supreme Kai Supreme Kai was very thrilled to meet with Goku as he couldn't imagine a mortal was able to come to Beerus' world. And then from there Goku noticed a, a technique that Supreme Kai uses to instantly move one place to another. Goku then looked at him and asked him what is it called and he told him that it is called a Kai Kai which is a godly instant transmission. I'm learning to become a god or you could say god key. Can you please teach me this Supreme Kai? Supreme Kai looked at Whis as Whis nodded his head and therefore Supreme Kai said, Yes, I'll teach you this new technique Goku, but since you're immortal, you won't be able to travel as far as I can, but you can travel anywhere you want inside this universe. That is once you get stronger and stronger, then you could travel to other universes, but that'll take you a very long time. Goku was very thrilled and now Supreme Kai has taught him the technique to use the Kai Kai, but Goku calls it the instant transmission. One year has passed since Goku landed on Beerus' world. Whis helped Goku to achieve something called the God Key as he went and trained with him every day. Goku decided that it is time to go back home and see his loved ones 
as he was about to leave but he looked at Weez and he said, Hey Weez, why don't you come with me to my planet? There's a lot of amazing food, you'll love it. Sounds good Goku, I'll come soon. Or you can bring me some next time you come here again. <laughs> Sounds good, but you need to try it, it's very tasty. And I'm looking forward to training more with you. And also Weez, thank you very much for everything you have done. I can't thank you enough for what you did for me. Just keep protecting the world and we can call it even. Well Goku, I'll see you soon. Yes you will, Weez. I'll bring that food for you. Bye! Hmm, that man will soon suffer from a disease called a heart virus and therefore he will die. Huh? Is that so? That's not good then. That means he wouldn't live long enough to fight with Lord Beerus? Nope. I still prophesize that he'll fight Lord Beerus so that means he'll pull through. Something's gonna happen that'll make him survive. Hmm, this mortal is very interesting. I think I'll watch over him. As Goku went and he used it into transmission to planet Earth. While Goku was training with Whis, King Cold has found Frieza and he made him into a mecha and then from there they went to planet Earth to get their revenge. Once when Goku has arrived on Earth, he saw that Frieza's spaceship has already landed as they were getting ready to come out of the spaceship. Goku went towards Frieza's spaceship and he waited for him to come out. Once when the door opened, they saw Goku standing there as Frieza stared at Goku and Goku said, Why are you here Frieza and how did you survive? Uh, it's him father! He is Goku! The one that ruined me on Namek! Hmm, is that so? Well son, you're much stronger than him. Why don't you kill him? I'll tell you this once Frieza! Get out! And don't come back, otherwise I will kill you! Frieza ignored Goku's threat as he went straight towards him and he started to punch him non-stop. Goku dodged all of his punch and then from there he went and he kicked Frieza very hard in his stomach as Frieza had trouble breathing and from there Goku powered up an attack and he killed Frieza once and for all. King Cold couldn't believe what happened as he went straight to Goku and said, How dare you do this? Goku then looked at it and said, I won't let you hurt anyone that I love. I'm going to give you one last chance, leave from this planet and never come again, otherwise you're going to suffer the same fate as your son. King Cole didn't listen to Goku, which led him to go and kill him once and for all. Once when Goku killed King Cole, he saw a Saiyan came right in front of him and he destroyed Frieza's spaceship, killing the rest of his man. Goku saw this Saiyan as this Saiyan looked at Goku and he said, You're Goku right? I would like to talk to you. I'm a saint from the future. My name is Trunks. Gosh, Trunks? And you're from the future? What's up? Listen Goku, I don't have much time. I'm here to give you a warning about what's going to happen in the future. Hmm? The future? Tell me Trunks, what's going to happen? Three years from now, a killer android will appear and they'll kill all of you guys. Everyone here will die including Vegeta, Gohan and Piccolo. What about me Trunks? Unfortunately for you Goku, you are going to die by heart virus. Darn it! That sucks! All this training with Whis for what? So I can die by some heart virus? Wait, who's Whis Goku? Goku, remember, don't tell anyone that you are here. Since this is a sacred world, we wouldn't want any other mortals coming to visit this place. Oh it's nothing Trunks, it's just, he's just my master I learned some martial arts from. That's amazing Goku, you really are the one that can stop these androids, here, take this man, it's an antidote, it'll be good for your heart, that way you cannot die from it. Thank you Trunks, this is awesome, and don't worry, leave everything to me, I will kill these androids. Thank you Goku, the whole future relies on you now. As Trunks has left back to his timeline, before going he requested Goku not to tell the other Z warriors about him and that who were his parents. Goku promised and from there he left. Find out what happened as the battle for the future is coming very soon. Will Goku manage to beat all these androids or will he die by the heart virus despite taking the antidote or will these androids be a lot stronger than Goku has anticipated. Find out what happens inside the next episode of what if Goku escaped to Beerus' world after Planet Namek part 2.